This is the moment that every mixed martial arts athlete hopes will materialize the number one heavyweight contender making the walk for his first title fight here in the U.S. I mean, the nerves are going crazy for this man right now. He's so nervous. Has he done everything he needs to do? Has he not left any stone unturned? He says that he has prepared. He says that his body's ready. His mind's ready. He feels physically good in the spot. He's taking on a long-rated champion. If he's going to get this done, it's going to take something truly special. He does not believe jitters will be a factor here tonight. He has built his career methodically to this point. We'll see if we hear the words and new by night 10. respect and appreciation as we have for the skill sets of the lower weight class athletes there is nothing in pro sports quite like a ufc heavyweight championship fight that is a reality you've been there you've done that baddest man on the planet putting that very distinction on the line tonight yeah the champ walks again and he wears that proudly johnny wants to be called the champ he loves to be called the baddest man on the planet he is so skilled he's so dangerous he's so scary and he gets up for these types of challenges. He intends to never let go of his belt. He understands the challenge in front of him here tonight, but he has been forged by this training camp, the championship experience he has accrued, and we'll see if he can lead the way he enters as the greatest heavyweight in the world. And now let's get you our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Now for the introductions, here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Dynamite. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. Vitor the Phenom Belfort! Herb Dean, third Let's man fight. in the octagon Let's tonight. Fight. All right, so here he is, the now 40-year-old Vitor Belfort. He's finished all of his UFC wins, the majority of those in round one. We'll see if Belfort can get off to another patented hot start here tonight. Kick lands, my favorite strike. On point with that jab today. Just out of range with the big right hand. Lunges forward with a left there. Just missed with the left there. So more output at least in the world going. Straight punch. Useful. Unable to connect with the right hook. of your seat action as expected so far.
right on the button. Lands a nice straight. Just misses with the right. Just over three minutes to go. Wow, vicious uppercut. All right, so an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has won. Now he's got to deal with everything that he's going to bring at him. He should have got the fight finished at that time. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Zelfort's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut, perhaps, there on the bridge. got to focus on this fight. Come on, let's go. His misses are out of team. Nice job to land the kick to the body there by Belfort. Nice feedback right hand, my goodness. There it is. He's cut. Get the elbow. Just over two minutes, round one. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. Beautifully timed and place kick there by Belfort. The fighter lands a right punch. Circling the way towards the left now. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. Right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all the strength. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer because right now he seems lost to it. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed, right? So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood starting to come down. That is when you start to watch the fight and you see what type of effect it starts to take on. Whether or not he's reaching for it, whether or not he's confused by where it's at. We got to start to watch his reaction now as we go forward. Cut above the eye here. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. Controlling the fight behind that jab. 20 seconds to go in round one. There's the horn signifying the end of the round, and he heads back to the stool, and hopefully he can stay in this fight because that is a severe cut that he's dealing with right now. You all right? Are you good? Okay. All right, well, I'm no doctor. I'm not going to diagnose a broken nose, but a huge cut on the bridge, and his opponent continues to attack it. Continues to attack it as he should. He did the damage. He was the one that landed the shot that opened up that cut. Now he's got to make his opponent pay for it. He's a bit lax in defense, and now... He's got that massive cut on the bridge of his nose. You ready? You ready? Go. All right, here we go with round two. Strike landed pretty cleanly there. Good jab there by the champion. Oh, he heard it bad with the jab. Nice body kick. Belfort's cut is getting worse. The cut man should... Oh! He's hurt now. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Just out of range with that left hook. Nice kick to the body. 
Belfort's nose is absolutely mangled at this stage of the fight. I'm no doctor, but I feel pretty... Oh! Well, at this point, DC, I'm not sure if he's just biding his time or just trying to get some extra reps, but go finish the guy. It seems like the guy's playing with his food. You know, he's having a good time out there. Everything's working. He's in the zone. It feels like at any moment he can end the night of his own. But he seems to be having fun. And hey, to each his own, I guess. I'd be rushing out of that option. Yeah, you don't play with your food. No. He gets to the single collar time. Look for him. Earn the game. Beautiful shot to the leg. Keep doing that, baby. Time to sleep. Back and forth we go. Oh, that's a heavy kick downstairs. Belfort. Back to his feet. Still plenty of time to go here, round two. Really opened up now, folks. I don't necessarily have to tell you that watching at home. Looks like you could stick a quarter in there, and I'm not sure how much longer this one is going to be. That is going to do it! Oh. No. Woo. I mean, you got to be kidding me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on Sports Center tonight, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something, and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 15 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Dynamite. All right, so we got a new UFC heavyweight champion and potentially a star is born tonight, DC. He is the type of guy that makes people want to tune in. He is the type of guy that you know excitement will happen when you watch him. And tonight he becomes a star in a massive draw for the UFC.